Hey guys, what is up? It's Ratman250X1 and welcome to this awesome tutorial on how to get this funky Cinema 4D text. Now, I know we're a bit off topic here, and yes, I hope you hear guys do love this background. If you know any of the people that are in this uh, picture, please leave them, please leave their name in the description and a like if you recognise any of them. Hint, hint, that's me. There. There, that's me. Okay. So the reason I've gone off topic is because I want to start doing a few more tutorials and also games and trying to unload every day. So let's go. Uh, so you want to open Cinema 4D, mine's located in my documents, Adobe Photoshop, yes I know. Cinema 4D, open Cinema 4D 64 bit or Cinema 4D, either one, whichever you prefer. Now what we're going to do before we start, we're going to go into render options, we're going to type in 1280. 720s make it 20, 720 HD and then you want to go down to effects I'm in occlusion I think it says I don't know and then effects you want to go global illumination now on the global illumination one you want to click on uh, samples set that to low and render density to low now that we've done that we can add a floor duplicate that floor and that duplicated floor will call wall now this is going to be the back scene now as you can see that's our background scene it's white so you want to do you want to click on the wall option and you want to type in 90 and 90 and that will create this funky wall next thing you want to do you want to double click here open we'll rename that wall and floor so I don't get confused I'm going to set turn that off and set it to a dead on white boom boom there we go next thing we want to do is rotate that and hold down left click and choose infinite light we want to move this out Push that up, rotate it, like so, and then we can press our render to see what it looks like. As you can see you've got that line there that shows where it starts. Now what we can do while we are on the light option, we can head down to shadow, turn that to shadow hard, and set it around about 60. Now I mean when we add our thingy, the text sort of a bit of a shadow. I don't think it has a shadow now, but why don't we check? No it doesn't. The next thing you want to do to get to the actual text is head over to mold wrap at the top and click mold text. And we want to name that the first text. And we want to duplicate it. Control C Control V. And then we want to call that the second text and control it and move it along move it forward move it up a bit ok so on the first X you're going to want to set the depth to around about 100 and on the second one you're going to want to do the same and set the depth to around about 80 now on the second one what we're going to want to do is head up into this direction this view I must say, and center it. Okay, you may be thinking that's a bit plain and boring, but hopefully I'll be able to show you how the shadow effects now. I know they're really poor shadows, but that's how they work. They're pretty cool anyway. So now you want to control them too, and you want to name that. We're just going to name it subscribe. Right, oh god I can't even spell today. Do I even know you spell subscribe? I don't even know anymore. Subscribe, yeah. That'll be fine. Uh, even if it's wrong, correct me. Uh, so we want to change the font now. You can choose whatever font you want. You know, some of these fonts don't show the letters or so custom fonts. So we're going to choose... 
Uh, our channel font that is Baba Boom. Never locate it. Baba Boom. Oops. And you also want to make sure you click that one as well. Just in case. There we go. And you can see it looks like one text again. Now you must be wondering why have we. Ew. You must be wondering why have we got these two texts. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You want to head over to the second one and click over to the cap section. You want to change that to the fill it cap. And you also want to change. Wait, what for change? Oh, yeah, you want to change the start one to fill it. The end one to fill it and the fire filter type to one step. Now as you can see that's looking pretty cool. Pretty goddamn cool. Okay so the next thing we're gonna do because with YouTube we can actually drag down to the front and then we'll call that and then that's basically setting the front the front text there to white. And now what we can do, we can set this to around about reddish colour, make it form red, I'm going to turn off that again, I'm going to drag that all the way to the back, so we get this awesome effect. Now let's position ourselves, so we get a nice view of the text. So that's what we come out with, sorry about that little glitch there guys, I'm really sorry about that. My recording software decided to crash. But guys, thank you for watching, the last thing you're going to need to do is head over to the render settings once again and click save and choose your file path. Now mine's going to be my project section, I'm just going to call it subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And press save, and you want to set that to PNG or JPEG or whatever you choose and then just press this option oh, no 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 option just press the set one and that will render it out so guys I hope you like this tutorial if you want to if you want more videos like this don't forget to hit that beautiful button that says there it says subscribe so guys thank you for watching I've been Roman 250 and I hope you like this change of scenery so guys bye bye peace out hope you all